What's up everyone, back again with another video. So you're here to see if this Surface Pro 7 is worth it. Well, let's find out. Okay, so let's start off with the big question in the room. Is the Surface Pro 7 a tablet? Well, I say yes, kind of. And the reason why I say that is, the Surface Pro 7 is portable like an iPad and Android tablet, like let's say like the Galaxy Tab. But see, what sets this thing apart from the two is it's running PC software. So you're talking about mobile software versus PC software. When you when you draw out the two, there really isn't no comparison. So basically, the majority of things you do on a PC, you can do on a Surface Pro, like Photoshop, video editing, some light games, and pretty much whatever else you do. Just nothing that's going to be graphic intense, hence the heavy game. Now, personally, I haven't game game on the Surface Pro uh, yet. I tried to download Fortnite, but the file was too big. Only game I really downloaded was Modern Combat 5. But see, Modern Combat 5 is made for like iPhones and iPads and you know Android, so mobile applications. So that game I don't even consider counting because it should just it should run flawlessly on this PC. Personally, I really like the design of the Surface Pro 7. Just look how sleek it is compared to my laptop. The screen resolution is great coming in at 2736 by 1824 and it gets plenty bright too. So you shouldn't have an issue at all with display quality. There's an SD card slot under the kickstand which definitely comes in handy considering the model I have is 128 gigabyte SSD. Now we all know by now when a company labels the storage capacity, it's not quite the full amount. So out of the box you're getting 80 to 90-ish gigs mainly due to the Windows 10 software being installed. But Back to the SD card slot. It's definitely a relief having it, so I can put all my media and some apps that take up a lot of space on it. That's a plus. And there is two USB ports. Now, that's probably my only gripe about this uh, device, and that is it comes with one USB-C and one regular standard USB, USB-A. Um, I do feel like Maybe they just did it because of the design, they wanted to look sleek, I don't know. But I do feel like they could have squeezed in one more regular USB port or even a USB-C, but I personally would have just preferred a regular USB port because, you know, when, when you want to make this into like your primary laptop, then those ports, extra ports come in hand. So contrary to having the micro USB card reader, I would have liked to seen a regular SD card reader uh, built in on this. I know that could have, been possible. They could have put that in there. Um, so maybe in the upcoming models, put that. So those are just my only guys, really. Just mainly the um, more ports and uh, standard SD card read. The battery life is good as well. I want to say it's even better than my laptop battery by a good margin. Um, I'm getting at least four hours, four plus hours of screen on time, depending on what I'm doing, obviously, but I'm getting at least four hours on this thing. So that's a plus, but would I like to have a better battery life? I mean, yes, who doesn't want better battery life off a single charge? So uh, maybe on the next models, come out with something with way better battery life. But by me saying that though, this thing does charge up pretty, pretty quick. I think I put on a charger in in like 15 30 minutes it boosted up uh i don't remember the percentage but i know it like it jumped pretty good so i would say the like the fast charging or whatever charging it has in here is pretty superb as opposed to my laptop so that's definitely a plus so one of the main best things about the surface pro i have to say is how portable it is just like imagine laying down in your bed, you want to get on the laptop, you put the laptop on top of you, somewhat heavy, and you're trying to type to whatever you, whatever web page you want to get to. That's just not convenient at all. Instantly, when I put the Surface Pro on the keyboard, start typing, I was like, oh yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. I wanted something like the feel of an iPad, but something like that allowed you to do more stuff like a PC. And don't get me wrong, the iPad is a great device, but Again, we're talking about mobile software versus actual PC software. So as I stated earlier, I was really impressed on how well the Surface Pro 7 i5 performed when I was video editing. So that being said, if you know you're going to be doing heavy tasks like video editing, Photoshop, you, you name it, I would go for at least the i5 or i7. 
I wouldn't even bother with the i3 unless you know you're just gonna be web browsing and just that light stuff, probably like a little bit of photo editing and stuff like that, stuff that won't be so powerful on the CPU. And good lighting, I say the camera is pretty good as well. Here go a little sample of the photos and videos of it. Okay guys, so this is the front facing video on the Surface Pro 7. So let me know how it look how it sound from the viewfinder. It looked like it's pretty good, but I'm also in pretty good lighting. Um, outside natural light um so obviously not anything but the majority of cameras are going to look good when you have a ton of light but it actually looks pretty good i'm, I'm thinking it definitely rival um can rival the uh, ipad okay so this is the rear facing video on the surface pro 7 so i can't see how it looks right now but i'll be able to take a look at it when i'm done recording this video so let me know how it looks and how it sounds and yeah not bad at all i say in good lighting the cameras to me rival the ipads okay so let's talk about the main two accessories that are advertised when getting a surface pro and number one for me would be the keyboard now first off i think it's pretty dope how it attaches magnetically like it, it pretty much won't fall off but two I'm not even kidding when I say this. I think this is probably the best keyboard I done used so far. When it comes to the, the clickiness of the keys, uh, I like how it's backlit, and I definitely, definitely the touchpad is the best that I've used because I typically hate using touchpads on uh, laptops. I always put in a mouse, but this one has been tolerable, so that's a plus. Now the Microsoft Pen, I only played around with it for a little bit because I really haven't made much use for it yet, but eventually I know I'll you know use it a little bit more but now talking about the price of other two the keyboard i say is worth it definitely with any product i feel like it could be lower in price keyboard definitely worth it but the pen i just feel like should be lower in price it should be starting at if they're going to price it high at 49 dollars now i get they want to compete with the apple pencil um i'm not justifying that the apple pencil is uh, a great buy for $99 either, but definitely for me, I have to say the Microsoft Pen need to be lower in price. Keyboard expensive as well, but if you get the bundle or the deal, it, it kind of averages out. So yeah, that's, I guess, another great. So let's wrap this up. Who is a Surface Pro for? Well, honestly, everyone. But if you want me to get more in depth with it, I say college students definitely. Uh, just the Microsoft Word, Excel, anything that you do on a laptop, PC, you pretty much can do on a Surface Pro. Business people, you name it. Surface Pro is definitely a major go. Yeah, it might be a little expensive. Um, well, compared to some of the iPads, it's actually a better deal, depending on what you get. But yeah, I say the Surface Pro is just for everyday people, just people who like to be productive. And you know, if you don't want, you want something more than just a tablet mobile software. You want something with full blown, you want a tablet, but you want something with full blown PC software. That's who the Surface Pro is for. But let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Do you have a Surface Pro 6, 7, 5, you name it. Let me know in the comments below, do you, or do you enjoy your Surface Pro? Let me know if you like this video, comment, subscribe as always. Salute to the flag as always. And I'm gonna catch you all on the next one. Peace.